To make our picture, we're going to use a CD to trace it to get a nice circle. And we're going to make the umbrella first and then add just the feet of our person onto our picture. The first thing we always do is put our name on our paper. So on the back, you put your name and then you turn it over. So this side's all nice and clean. Now, I want you guys to have a CD. There should be enough for everyone. Otherwise, please share them nicely. Find about the middle of your paper and take it up a little higher. So here's the middle, and I'm gonna push it up a little higher. We don't want our CD like falling off the edges of the paper, just a little bit higher than the middle. Hold it down with one hand, and the other hand that you write with is gonna trace around the outside nicely, smoothly, and if I can't fit anymore, I stop, pick up my pencil, move my hand. I don't want that CD to move, so I gotta be careful. And if I've done it right, it's a nice, perfect circle. Now, we're gonna need to use a ruler or a straight edge of something, maybe even just a book if we don't have enough rulers. I'll try and bring enough for everyone. And we're gonna divvy it up into six different pieces. The easiest way to do that is we'll start, we'll make one line all the way down. We're gonna work lightly in our pencil because we're gonna need to change things. Now, how many of you know what peace sign looks like? It comes straight down and then it goes out to the two sides. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to start in the middle and take it out this way and take it out this way. Now, this isn't all the six areas. This is only one, two, three, four. And these two are too big. All you have to do once you make a peace sign is take this half of a length and take it all the way across and do the same thing with this one you made and take it all the way across. Now this isn't a perfect way to get it done. It doesn't match um, the sheets we worked on. So this will be good enough to make our umbrella. So right here would be the top of the umbrella. And then what I'm gonna do is just make these curves so that they look a little more like the points on the umbrella. So we've got these little points here. We're not gonna change these spots at all all the places where these points touch, they're gonna stay. But between here and here, maybe A and B, I'm gonna make a curved line, just a little bit curved. If you made a mistake, you can always erase. And once you have your curved line, you're gonna erase around the outside edge. And then I want you to do the same up here. And erase the edge of the circle. So you're going from point to point with a curved line. Erasing. And over here. Oh, not curved enough. Down here. So my umbrella looks a little different because I didn't make my piece sign just perfect. And if, if you did, it'll probably look even more like an umbrella than mine does. But that's our basic umbrella shape. And in here, we're going to paint the color wheel. But for right now, we're going to leave it plain. Now, if you're holding an umbrella, what else are you going to be wearing outside? Well, I'll be wearing my rain jacket and my rain boots because there might be puddles all over the ground. So let's draw a person who's got their rain boots on and their rain jacket. So rain jackets are really long, and I'm going to see the edge of it. Here's where their face would be. It's covered up. So I'm going to just see this much of the rain jacket. Just like when we drew the animals, this is like it would be a triangle, but we're just starting at the bottom here. So it's just the bottom of a triangle. It's not the same as a rectangle because it does tip in. And then we'd have the feet. So this person's walking this direction. Maybe I'll even put buttons on their raincoat so we know that's the front of their raincoat. And if they're walking, we're going to have their legs are going to come down here. And maybe I can see just a little bit of the other foot. Um, now, oh, I made that too long. To make the rain boots. What I usually do, so here we just have the lines coming down for the legs, is I go straight on the ground, and then I'll make a big bump, and there's a big rain boot. And over here we're going to do the same thing, but we don't see the bottom, do we? So right here where that line touches, I'm going to just make a boot right next to it, and it's a little shorter. 
and there's the top of the rain boot and their legs going into the rain boots. Some rain boots have like a little handle over here, right? They're like big boots. And that's up to you. Now what I want you to do, now that you have a coat and their feet and they've got their umbrella, is all we would do is color these in. Use nice coloring skills, erase any lines that you don't want to keep, that you don't want to show, and color in your person. Do not color your umbrella. We are painting the umbrella, so do not color your umbrella. What are we painting? The coat and the boots, not the umbrella. Go ahead and color this in so next class we'll be all ready to go with our umbrella.